Hello everyone. Scott has been with us this year on placement as part of a scheme where he explores his potential future as a church leader. He's going to share his midweek reflection with us today. We are living in unprecedented times in lockdown. We are coming into our ninth week of lockdown. But I'd like to share some reflections on silver linings I found being locked down here at home with my family. Normally, I don't get to see my family that often, and it's been great in lockdown to spend proper family time with them. In our first week of lockdown, or the early into the first few weeks, we spent loads of time in the garden together. We played catch. We made our new version of catch. We've got to be constantly moving. It's been really great just to joke around and have a great time. But also it's been good to see my older sister, who normally is a analyst for the Department of Work Pensions in London. She's normally away for long periods of time. I don't get to see her. And I'm very blessed that this is the silver lining in lockdown, that she's here all the time. She works from home, so it's nice to see her more often. I'm very close with my sisters, so it's very nice to see them on a more regular basis in lockdown. Some other silver linings is that cooking. Normally when I'm in Southampton on placement, I cook all my meals. Being at home, wait, don't have to cook anymore. My parents cook again. It's great. Is one burden off my mind or... Last week, my hair was getting way too long. It was starting to look more like the Fonz or Elvis Presley. Really, really big hair. So I thought, it'd be great to have a haircut. So my mum was up to the challenge. She got the her needlework scissors and I sat outside and she went for it and it's okay. It's all right. Hair's still there. I'm not bald. So that's a bonus. <laughs> it's great. These are, these are real positives of lockdown that I've had to really enjoy real family life that I wouldn't have the opportunity to if we were still back at work as usual. It's been a real blessing to have these silver linings I've found. But I also like to be aware that I'm very grateful for my family and where I am because I know a lot of people are less well off and that they've been you know, shut up in a, a small flat with young children and that must be a lot harder than if, you know, living in a family where everyone's more grown up. Or, or those who have been really affected by the coronavirus, those who have lost loved ones, those who have, you know, friends have got more frailer due to it. And it's had a real hit on their families. That's why I had to come to the topic of prayer and how prayer is really important in a time like this, if not more significant, to be praying for others today and every day, thinking about how we can be a support to them. If we can call around our friends and family, see how they are, talking to them partially, seeing how they are, having a nice conversation with someone. Or if we can't be doing that, we can be spiritually with them spiritual ways through prayer keeping in mind those who are most vulnerable and weakest at this time they'll be wanting support and comfort because they may feel lonely and in such an uncertain time the prayers that we pray to them can be the support can be the comfort that they need in their lives this power of prayer is really significant and I think will really have a great impact in this situation for people praying for them or if people know that they're praying for them it's a real support. We ask God to help us in this time to continue to be steadfast in prayer. Let God be with us when we're praying no matter where we are no matter what we are doing. We should be connected as the church connected always and connected through the body of Christ. 
though we are in a hard situation and the power of prayer is really significant, we should also look to the silver linings and the positives and the blessings that God has with us in a situation like this. God bless.